Capitain Petzl is hosting a new exhibition by Andrea Bowers titled, Open Secret, in the Berlin Gallery space. In her second solo exhibition at Capitain Petzl, Andrea Bowers focuses on aspects of the women's movement over the past year. The main work of the exhibition, titled, Open Secrets, Part 1, consists of 100 photographic prints covering both sides of a 19 by 4 meter wall. The print lists the name and occupation of an accused person in the Some of the prints contain related photos. Bauer started a database of The exhibition is the first of an ongoing project reflecting on 100 apologies, non-apologies and narratives printed in nine different red backgrounds. The fonts of the apologies are the same used by the original publishing platform, e.g. Twitter, Facebook, journals, magazines, and newspapers. Several office chairs are provided for use while attendees read the texts, not only for practicality but also to reference the nature of sexual harassment as workplace violation, says the gallery. Additionally, a large LED sign made of cardboard hangs above the open secrets wall and flashes the words, trust women, in multiple colored lights. The show features a further grouping of works from Bauer's series of colorful cardboard collages that illustrate powerful women. The images originate from the history of political graphics but have been reworked to represent contemporary feminist issues related to intersectionality and the as a nod to the idea of a feminist army, as well as a protest against the U.S. government's gun policies, Bowers made a large pink cardboard of assault rifles painted with slogans from the March for Our Lives protests, originally inspired by a CODEPINK action from several years ago. The exhibition also features the one-and-a-half-hour documentary video, Disrupting and Resisting, J20. For details, visit https colon slash slash www.blowinartinfo.com slash gallery guide slash capitain dash petzl slash overview click on the slideshow for a sneak peek into the artworks, http colon slash slash www.blowinartinfo.com founder Louise Bluen.